Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now, I know I promised um, that I would be back to normal in 2019, that I would be uploading as frequently as I possibly could, and you would just see a lot more of me in general. And I know that hasn't quite happened. Um, I've been here, I've been there, I've been uh, really caught up in a lot of stuff. been very, very busy um, with projects on YouTube that don't necessarily concern my channel. You know, I still do the SPFL show with CJ, there's some other behind the stuff. Uh, behind the scenes stuff is well going on. I was always on Celtic Fans TV a couple weeks ago as well. I've been, you know, trying to broaden my horizons a little bit, get to know others and such. So um, I'll, I'll focus a wee bit outside my own channel for the start of this year, but I want to get back into it. We'll see how it goes. I don't want to promise anything. I'm fed up with making false promises. But today, I finally decided, like I said, to make a video about Celtic, believe it or not. Hey, what you've been waiting for. Um, the video, the title of the video may get you thinking, isn't this a bit soon? Like, very soon. The transfer window only shut a week ago. And I'm already making a video which is concerning how the Celtic signings are doing so far. But we've seen a good fair games now. Um, with some of the new guys in the team. Tilyan, Wea, um, Buck. You know, they've all had their chances now. And I feel like it's a good enough time to sit down and talk about how I think they have came into the team. How they've improved the team. How they fit into the team. How the dynamic has sort of changed. I think it is a suitable point. We're obviously coming off the back of a win last night against Hibs. Since we've came back from the winter break, we have looked superb. Um, there's not really been a point where I sat down and went, Jesus Christ, it's going to be a slog of a second half of the season. No, we're back at the top of the table by quite the margin. Um, and you know what? It's looking nice. and The team is looking good. We're looking energised again. The only problem is obviously injuries. We're fucking... How many injuries is it possible to get in one season? I think we're breaking records, honestly. Um, it's unbelievable. I don't know what's happening. Uh, just players are breaking down uh, in an instant. And uh, we're seeing everybody having to get stretched off the park and such. But... Uh, right now, the team is looking decent with the new signs. Now, I want to talk about um, the transfer window in general. Now, there was a there was a there was a statistic I wanted to get on the screen, which is going to help me with this video. Um, but I, you know, I can't bother going looking for it. Feels quite unprofessional, doesn't it? Going and typing while making a video. We'll start from the start. We'll start from the players who we brought in right at the start of the window, and that is uh, Oliver Buck and Timothy Weir. First, Oliver Buck. Oliver Buck. First of all, what do I talk about? is the fact that Oliver Buck has came out and said he wants to stay at State Celtic. He doesn't want to go back to West Brom. He wants to stay at the club. And right now, with the way he is playing, I honestly do not mind that. Do you see how fucking nice that was and subtle? I kept talking while doing what I wanted to do. Look, honestly, um, the guy looks fantastic. And a lot of people were, you know, complaining we were signing Oliver Buck. Oh, he can't get into the West Brom team, so why can he get into the Celtic team? Blah, blah, blah. Shut up. The boy has clearly got talent. He is Scotland's most expensive player of all time. And since the moment we signed him, I said I was happy with it. I want to give the boy a chance. Check the video if you don't believe me. I didn't think it was a pointless signing. I had faith in Oliver Buck. And right now he's proving it. Scoring goals. He's looking like he's always hungry every time he steps on the park. Doesn't look lazy. He looks as though he's always up for it and wants to get in amongst the goals. Right now I'm really liking the look of Oliver Buck. And I would love to bring him in permanently if he keeps up playing at this standard, obviously he might tail off and he might, he might say, do you know what, not good enough, we don't want to bring him in permanently, but right now, I honestly couldn't complain if we were to bring him in as a permanent signing this summer transfer window, because he's been banging in some goals, and he's been looking hungry, I think one thing we definitely missed was that hunger, that desire, that little bit of, you know, want going forward, I think players were getting slightly lackadaisical getting up the park, and uh, this guy has came in, I thought he's done a fantastic job at proving, you know, he can still get in amongst the goals and he's still got something to prove. He wants to get back in the Scotland team. And yes, if we can afford that, Brendan Rodgers, do your best. Bring all of our buck into the club permanently. Don't know how West Brom are going to go about that. They might want a lot of money. If they get promoted, they might say, no, we don't need them, so just take them, Celtic. Here's, take them for a cheap enough fee. I wouldn't pay him too much for them. But depending on how he plays over these next six months, um, we could have a real player on our hands. And, you know, he's been playing up front. He's been scoring goals from there. We naturally he's a right winger, so he's showing versatility as well. There's not too much to complain about. Second player, the, the name on everybody's lips. The one that everybody has instantly fallen in love with. Timo, Timothy, Weir. What a baller he looks like. It's simple, uh, to the simple way to say it fantastic looking player, he's got everything, he's got power, he's got speed, he's got a good finishing ability obviously, grabbing a few goals himself over the, the past few weeks since signing for the club, I think he's really going to do well at warming up the, the, the Celtic fans and um, getting their hopes up to see him at the club in the future when probably not going to happen is it, um, 
that's not a negative thing to say about him, honestly. Let's enjoy the time he's at the club. He's a special, special player. I think he's going to be a special player. Look, his father's jobs, we obviously inherited a lot of talent from that man. And um, th th this guy, I think, is going to be, you know, fantastic over the next six months. Whether or not we get to extend that deal and whether or not we'll see him heading out next season, um, I don't mind because right now he is bringing in. I would, I, I would mind. I would love to have him in the club forever. Right now, basically the same positives as I said about Oliver Buck. We are seeing in Timothy Weir. He looks hungry. He looks like he wants to go forward and get goals. It looks motivated at all times. He is going to be one of the big names for the Valencia tie. One of the big names. He offers so much with the speed and the power and just an overall game that maybe we have been lacking for a while. Maybe he is the answer to the Dembele problem. Maybe he is the new Musa. You all know how much I love Musa Dembele. Um, could he potentially be the answer? This is a, a, a lad who is going to be big. Whether or not it's a future at Celtic or not, he is going to be big. And right now, maybe he's still trying to find his footing by getting out of first team. And it's not an easy job for the likes of Buck and we are just to get, boom, shoved in the first team like that. Considering we've had players over the last two years who have done a phenomenal job. Both of them not naturally strikers. Edward's obviously, you know, fluttering in and out of injury, injured again. So they are going to get their fair share of chances handed to them while Edward is in the sidelines. But naturally, wingers, it's going to be hard to just throw Sinclair out the team, throw Forrest out the team. So they're going to have to take their chances while they get it. But they're doing a fucking good job at that. And uh, George Weir, uh, sorry, Tim Weir, uh, just on the lips of everyone at the minute. And rightfully so, tearing it apart, looking fantastic. Let's keep this up, Bucking Weir. Two attacking players that I didn't think personally we needed, but now that they're here, you sit back and you kind of think, we've needed this. Especially with Weir, I think. A lot of people sat there and went, we needed that. And it's not what I expected. What I said in the transfer window is just focus on defence. Get the defence improved. And maybe a winger. A winger would be nice. But focus on the defence. But these two players have came in and pleasantly surprised me with how well they have started their Celtic careers. I think there's like eight goals between them now. Uh, in a, such a short space of time, they're going to offer a whole lot. They've looked very impressive as well. What I said though, improving in defence. Boy, have we done that. Jeremy Tolyan, Jeremy Tolyan, however you want to fucking pronounce it. He's going to be fantastic. It's, it's such a beautiful day knowing that we have got a right back who can play football. Now, there's one thing I want to address. People were commenting on my videos. You're not showing enough respect to Lustig. You're disrespecting Lustig. Blah, 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 blah. I have always said I will fully respect and I love Mikhail Lustig. The person, the character, the man that he is, I love and I respect the hell out of him for everything he has given to Celtic Football Club. There is no taking that away from him. But you cannot deny the truth and that he was not good enough on the park over the last couple of years. He has been the clear weakness in the Celtic side and needed replaced. I love him. Mikhail, if you somehow seen this video, I appreciate you. I appreciate everything you've given to the club and I still love you and I want you to remain at Celtic. I don't want to see him shipped off. People are coming across as like, no, get him out. No, we needed a new first team player. We needed someone to challenge for that spot and we have done that by bringing in Jeremy Tolyan who is looking great. Looks great going forward, going back. Now, when we signed Tolyan, Tolyan I gave him a full rundown of what I expected because obviously as a, a man who likes Borussia Dortmund, I kind of had a little bit of an insight to him for a change I knew about a player. Hmm. Jeremy Tolyan though, I knew what we were getting. But right now is looking solid. Clean sheets since he's came into the team. Yes, he's only had the one start. But uh, he looks solid in both games. And he looks solid defensively and going forward. He has composure. He has that just that, that little bit of calmness around his game. that Mikael Lustig has not had for the past couple of seasons. Lustig gets the ball, kicks it up the park, goes to no one. Tolyan gets the ball, has that composure. Can go forward with it in a positive way. Not just run into hopeless space. You know, he actually has an end plan in his head. Um, I like him a lot. And I feel like that could be potentially the key signing of that window. Now, the full thing about the option to buy, if it's true or not, which I don't think it is, would be lovely. Because I'd love to keep him over um, the next year as well. I think if we have to prioritise anyone, depending on how they play, if they all play at a steady, consistent, great level, Buck, Weir and Tolyan, for me personally, we've got to, if we had one to pick out of the three, for me it's got to be Tolyan we keep. It is so hard for Celtic to come across a good defender. So hard. Unbelievably hard. And we need to do our best to hold on to this boy, I think. Honestly, love the look of him. He's came in. And I think he's going to do well. I really do think. Now, I don't want to get my hopes up about any of these players and then they turn to shit. But 
he looks good, and that's what matters. It looks solid, and it's definitely an upgrade and an improvement on Mikael Lustig. There's no denying that. That's the three players who've kind of came into the team. Obviously, players left as well. We've seen Malumbu leave the club um, in the January transfer window as well. So, they were the three players who came in and have had their impact in the squad. And I know, as I said, it's early, but they have created a positive impact. And that's what matters. And I'm happy that they have came into the club. We also managed to sign Marion Schwed, Andrew Gutman as well, and Manny Perez. I believe that was it. Was there anybody else? Uh, Bio. We signed Big Bio as well, who has not been registered for Europe. Play. Quite rightly so. Um, a lot of people... Probably not being able to understand why he's been left out after spending two and a half million quid on him. But um, the fact is, you know, he's not had a game yet. He's not kicked a ball for Celtic. And they only had three spots. And they had to give it to the three boys who have came in and played and played well. I imagine Bayer will get into the team eventually. And I have faith in him to be a good player as well. So uh, let's just be patient with that one. Obviously Perez and Gutman we don't see until later on. They're still over in America just now. God knows what we'll get from them. Young guys, of course. So potential is there. Um, and Sved, I'm looking forward to seeing the clips look a promising of him too. But the three signings who have came in and had their spot in the team look good. That's what matters. End of the season should be good. Let's crack on for Valencia. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Let me know your opinions to my opinions. And I, I'll see you all next time.